Life is not lived if we are not taking risks. Growing up knowing we are destined for more, traveling to greater places, chasing down our dreams. I have a dream. No matter where we are or what we want to do in life, it's important we start. Nothing has to be perfect to begin. Just begin and begin with purpose, passion and intent. Once you have the passion for something in any business, I mean, whether it's the clothing or, or, or the wood business or, or anything that you have, if you have the passion of it, I mean, the practicality will come because you can always find the right people that know the thing. And it's, it's a very easy learning curve. I often say in life, you're not responsible for the whole thing, just your part in it. So immerse yourself in the culture, the energy, and the vibration of those around you. My real success was always in the street. The urban, what we used to call the inner city brands. My market was really big in Philly and, and New York and, and, and Maryland and Boston, you know, and, and the Midwest, Chicago, and more than even Los Angeles, and because it was the kids wearing it and we got the rappers to start getting involved in it. The part you play could be seconds or it could be decades, but it's not the duration, it's the impact. Tony Robbins says, the only limit to your impact is your imagination and your commitment. Commit to creating, create a vision. Create a vision for yourself. Create something you love and the world will love it too. I started making jackets for myself and you know, like crazy, crazy jackets. I didn't even know how to produce it, but I had the passion to design them. When I started designing the jackets, everybody wants to get this jacket. The business started taking off, even though it was not a big business, but it was getting tremendous amount of publicity and everyone knew I was the man for the jackets. For when we live in our creation, we send a resounding message out to the world that it's possible. Those who reach touch the stars. Nothing is impossible. You just have to go and reach out and try to do it. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Learn to express yourself. Be free in who you are. And when you are front and center on the stage of life, it's only right the audience see the very best and original version of you. Michael Jackson says, my attitude is a fashion says it's forbidden. I'm going to do it. Extend your persona. Develop your attitude. Finesse your style. Let's call it your fashion forever. Or your forever fashion. I'm not trying to sell. I'm trying to sell an attitude and then try to sell uh, a memento. So you're not buying the jacket because you're cold. You bang the jackets because you buy yourself a personality. One day you will leave a legacy that will call you the greatest of all time. I am the greatest. Decades of dedication doesn't go unnoticed. I did something 30 years ago for Nelson Mandela and I did Michael Jackson. I did Madonna and I did George Michael and I did Kid and Play and Martin and and way before we talking about uh, uh, Young Thug and, and Migos. A friend of mine was very close with the NFL. I said, why don't you make an NFL jacket? So I started making an NFL Giants jacket. Late 80s, I got the NBA license, the Bulls jacket, and want to get the Lakers jacket. So White Sox, Yankees, and, and I got the baseball, and, and hockey, the Kings. And my big mass market was mostly in NASCAR. And I started making all the jackets for the drivers, and those were two, two grand a jacket. Whether you wrap bars, drive cars, hold court, pitch to bats, or touchdown in the end zone. We do it for the passion, never the money alone. I'm loving what I do. I'm not doing it for my ego. I've always been ambitious. I always knew I wanted to become somebody and I'm not putting a dollar sign at the end of everything that I do. Success is a picture painted by our soul, crafted by our talent, but embossed with our DNA. It has to have your DNA on everything that you do. You have to have your, your stamp on it. We say thank you to legends, never expecting to become one. But some people deserve the title. It's just like for me, like being a kid born in Morocco and, 
and and coming and raising in France from, from a math and, and growing up as a nerd and knowing that I'm here like sitting and having dinner with Bill Clinton or being in, in Michael's house or, or hanging with around those people it's kind of a, I still pinch myself when I meet a celebrity it's just like I always feel like I'm I'm not worthy Kobe Bryant says it's the one thing you can control you are responsible for how people remember you or don't so don't take it lightly. People still realizing my my my, my footprint on, on what I did for the culture over the years. And and you know I'm, I'm, I'm very flattered that people put me in there. It's your legacy. The people, the way people are gonna look at you when you're gone. You know, or when you're still alive, people look at you, the respect that people could give you for the the, the, the the influence that you've had on the culture. For many this meant trophies, belts, or platinum plaques. But through all this, I see one uncrowned winner. That custom leather will mark you down in history. But you are that current, I know you're still writing it. And when there is no competition, you've never felt a battle. This is yes! I'm not obsessed! So take that energy backstage at that Versus. I get that, we rate this. Jeff Hamilton, that's iconic status. It's the blessings that you, you get and you don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow morning. So I, for me, I'm, I try to maximize all the time that I have on this earth. If I can put uh, 100 hours in a 24 day and squeeze it in, I'm going to do it. I just want to put my thoughts into, into reality. And I want to live a thousand years in a lifetime. <laughs>